Steps being taken to bring medical marijuana to thousands of people across the state. Tonight, the companies hoping to operate in the state were given the green light to do that, along with the rules they'll have to follow. True Leaf Georgia Incorporated and Botanical Sciences LLC. Right now, they have plans to operate in four parts of Georgia, including Marietta. Atlanta News First, Tori Cooper is there live tonight. And Tori, there's still some controversy over this, but these two companies say they're ready to move forward. Yeah, Rick, and we're seeing that progress right here on the ground tonight in Marietta. When we got out here, we noticed this sign out here in front of this building, True Leave Medical Marijuana Dispensary. True Leave is one of the businesses that was approved to dispense uh, medical marijuana in uh, the state of Georgia, and construction's already underway inside, and advocates I spoke to tonight say they're just hoping their doors can finally open. We've been at this for a very, very long time. And, uh, you know, we we waiting, we still waiting. Sebastian Cott needs a legal way to access medical marijuana. So I have to find a way to get the cannabis. I have to, you know, break some laws and do what I have to do as a dad to see my son uh, stay alive. He's talking about Jagger, his son, who suffers from a rare neurological disorder, making him immobile. And now, finally, hopefully in the next month, month and a half, we should have some dispensaries here. And tonight... Hope for Jagger, as the Georgia Access to Medical Cannabis Commission Board laying out the rules for two Georgia companies getting the green light. Truly, Georgia Incorporated and Botanical Sciences LLC will have to stay on top of quality control, product tracking, labeling, dispensing, locations, and enforcement. But licensing companies in Georgia comes with controversy. Uh, there were, uh, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, issues with the awarding process of the licenses. Attorney Jerome Lee is representing Georgia Atlas. It's one of two dozen medical companies suing Georgia after they said they were denied licensing. The state has elected to proceed forward uh, even though the litigation is still pending and in theory you could have a court order that undoes all of this. As for Sebastian and Jagger. Our process honestly was a mess um, and I'm not surprised they are lawsuit. I'm, I'm really not surprised. And I just hope that it's not going to hold up the entire process. Now, it was a very swift process in the commission's meeting today. And the commission also says that each company will be able to operate up to five dispensary locations. Reporting live in Marietta, I'm Tori Cooper, Atlanta News First. Thanks, Tori. Atlanta